This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Gym Mark Bauer in Leeds today for the press conference for We Are Leeds, 4th of April at the First Direct One, Arena. Two. Defending his British title, Willie Limond. How are you, Willie? Yeah, I'm good, how are you? One, yeah? One, Long trip up? Yeah, it was okay. Three. Just jumped in the car. Three. See, I just found out about this yesterday. So I had to keep my kids off school today. So I'm my mum's going for that. She's, she's on the phone asking where, where her boys are. <laughs> they're in the car with me. I'm sure they don't mind. Yeah, they're all right. They go, hang up, hang up. They so, have school. You know. So I yeah, had, it was. had to keep them off school today to bring them down because we had to be about half six this morning. So we did. Did you always go to school, Willie? Yeah, I was all right at school, I. Yeah? I didn't always go, but I was okay at school. Were you the funny one at school? Yeah, I just got all my things. Yeah? Go, I, Serious I, one? Nah. <laughs> Depends how I felt. Um. You haven't been in action since, what, April last year? June. Was it June? June. Did you do my right? June, aye. Was that the Curtis Woodhouse fighting? Curtis Woodhouse last year I fought. Mm. So it was. I think I had a year. I thought that was in April. I don't know why. June. 28th of June. Oh. Um, all right, you haven't been in action for, for that time. Mm -hmm. um, what's been the reason for that, obviously? I could tell you. I mean, to be fair, I've, I've not a clue. I've been, I've been in training anyway. So I've, I've been training. I got told I was going to fight in November. I changed to December. I got told it was January. Then maybe February. So then I've been told it's, well, it was maybe March, the end of March when the Kel Brook show. And it's been changed to April. But I've been kind of taking over anyway. But I've been training hard for the last few weeks. Mm. So I have. Obviously, uh, Chris Jenkins is in line to fight you on uh, the 11th of April. Um, <laughs> How much of Chris Jenkins have you taken notice of over the last couple of years? Well, I always every MD in my weight category who I believe could be potential opponents. I always keep tabs on them. I've watched Chris Jenkins for the last couple of years, him prize fighter. I has to believe he was held back, but I think he could have went further a wee bit sooner. But I think he's quite young, isn't he? Yeah. He's, so I think they've just held him. But I, I mean, he's a very, very dangerous opponent. He's my mandatory challenger. So. All my focus, all my attention is on defending my title against Chris Jenkins because I believe that this could be my hardest fight to date mm. and I know I've got to put my best to beat him. Obviously you are focused on April the 11th against Chris Jenkins but mm -hmm. what is the, the picture for you in 2015? Where realistically can Willie Lemon go? Quite be honest, I don't know what it's like. I thought when I, when I won the British I'd got a shot at European, it fell through. So I just need, had to regroup myself. Yeah. Back in the gym and just get my, my focus back and defend my British title. Every fair wants to defend the British title outright. So maybe now my attention switched to that. I actually thought it would be a European title shot, but now it's back to defending the British, which I'm happy to do. Happy to do, come down to Leeds. I've been passionate crowd in Leeds, haven't they? I've seen, I've seen somebody show for him, bro, so I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely, we saw uh, Josh Warrington's fans in Berlin on the weekend and there was quite a, a few hundred of them there, there's <laughs> going to be a few thousand of them. Oh, in... Was it, it odd 13,000 or something? Yeah. Or something like that. So, ah, it's exciting, I'm looking forward to it. Ah, there's nothing better than, there's nothing worse than finding an atmosphere that's flat, but I think the Leeds fans, they, they bring a, a, a different kind of atmosphere and bouncing, isn't it? So it's going be good. Interesting, uh, interesting. If you're in the crowd that day and not one of the leads lot, you just sort of sit back and let Aye. them crack on. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Mean, you know, they enjoy themselves, don't they? Absolutely. Uh, uh, um, since you fight to him, Curtis Woodhouse has called it a day. I, I think. Thought, I thought he came back. I didn't well, know. to be honest, I he did. Curtis, I thought I heard the same retire, but I thought was, somebody told me he was back. I heard he retired, and he was, he was saying with Dennis Hobson or something. He was getting a big fight. Then I think it just fell through. I don't know. You know what I mean? I, you know I don't what? know I've just got to keep up to date with Curtis as well because you're right, he did retire, then he was coming back, then he retired again, then he was, might have come back again. I, <laughs> I don't know. It's hard I suppose to do. When he, if he comes back in the ring, then we'll know whether he's I think it's or hard to walk away from you. Yeah. So I mean, I'm 36 now, right? And I'm going, but I still like, I still love to train. I still, I still, I still get a buzz going out the gym. I, 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 I'd actually miss the buzz. Uh, Fight coming up, the build up for the fight, everything. So, you know what I mean? I don't feel like retiring just yet. But obviously, that decision can get took out of my hands. Chris Jenkins could take that out of my hands, but I'm training hard now, so that he's not got that, that say in the matter. Well, April the 11th, we shall find out. So, uh, sure, sure, Bolt. Good luck with the press conference today, One, and then uh, three, obviously, four, we're five. about right. five, six weeks away from the fight. So, is it five weeks in or five weeks in Saturday? Yeah. I'm ready. He's ready. Be ready. One, two, Willie Lemon, thanks for talking to IFL TV.